Junior Junior in the big room. Self-titled album out on, uh, on Warner Brothers, CD1025 show tonight at the a &R Bar. I'm glad you played that. It's my favorite song in the album. Oh, thank you. I Thanks. love that song. It's really, it's common that we hear that, actually. It, it's, um, it sounds so effortless on the record. Is a, a song in that vein, is that difficult to write? Does it come easy to you compared to maybe other things? That, where does it fit on the continuum? We actually talked about this yesterday. Uh, or maybe two days ago, but it, it, it is a song that sounds like that, but it was, it was written in two hours and sort of even laid out sort of on the, in the studio in, in a couple hours. So it's kind of a quick song. We don't, we're not quite sure how, how it happened because there's all these time changes and all, all, all sorts of, like a, a basically a narrative story, but it was kind of a, a weird miracle song in that sort of way. And yeah, what inspired it lyrically? You know, I, I don't know. I, if I had to guess, I like to watch terrible movies, and there was this terrible movie on HBO starring Bill Murray as the mayor of a town that's, like, underground. I feel like I maybe saw that a couple days before or something. Is anybody f familiar with this movie, Bill Murray, the mayor of an underground it's town? It's like City of Ember or something. Yeah? yeah. I've never seen that. It's so, awful. When, when's it f <laughs> when was it made? I think it's recent. Oh. I think it's fairly recent. Wow. He does very few things that, that I would not like. I mean, he's in it, so I've got to like it on that level, right? Or well, maybe not. Then you're going to be surprised to learn that Daniel walked out of uh, Rock the Casbah. The it new was one. so bad. I've heard that, uh, and the trailer looks great. Now, he's like right, this. The trailer, you saw the trailer, and you're like, all right, cool, this is going to be perfect. He's going to be this creepy, like, uh, music sort of manager guy, and it was just the dialogue, everything. It was just. It was oh. like they just took the first take of every single scene. That is so disappointing. Just threw it all together. It That's like really what bad. our records sound like, but in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Well, let's get this out of the way real quick. What did you learn about America naming your band after a NASCAR driver and then living with that for a few years? What lessons did you take away from that? All right, I'm going to give the politically incorrect answer. Uh, I learned that there are so many dumb people. I used to defend Americans <laughs> to everyone and say, you know, no one gives the public credit. Like, that's why certain radio stations play terrible songs. Not your radio station, by the way. Uh, but, you know, certain radio stations play bad things, and, you know, certain television stations play terrible things. And I used to say, if people just gave Americans more credit and, and you know, played better things, they would all succeed. But... I may be wrong. I think people are really dumb. So were people showing up at your shows thinking that it was a Dale Jr. autograph session or he was going to sing or is it really that bad? It, it didn't happen super often. What happened really often were people f ages 59 to 70 from... Her demographic. From the, from the Bible Belt uh -huh. thinking that they were on Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Facebook page. <coughs> or, or Twitter even. Yeah, or Twitter. Not as often on Twitter, mostly yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Well, if, if we want to put a positive spin on this, the thing that, that I took away from it was that Dale Jr. has a great sense of humor about himself, and this never bothered him. In fact, he enjoyed it, right? Yeah, he was pretty amazing about it. In fact, when we decided to change the name or just scale the name back to Junior Jr., he tweeted at us after we announced and was like, you know, I'm bummed that it's over, guys. <laughs> he, he, so. sent, he sent one of his employees to our show in Charlotte and had him FaceTime some of the songs to him oh, because he couldn't be there. That is cool. Well, yeah. you see, it's not all bad. I think he bought some merch, too. Yeah, you yeah. see? You got to buy it before it's gone. Do you have any of that merch left, or is it all gone? We do. Um, we have some merch left, but we just realized this morning that our, our merch guy uh, left to go on tour with his band, so we don't know how to sell it. Oh, well, we don't know what we're doing. We're looking for volunteers. <laughs> so if you want to do merch tonight with Junior Junior Day in our bar, sign up. Uh, what are you going to play for us next? We're going to play a song called Break My Fall from the new album. Okay. 